it's Amy from Winterwood Studio. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny Monday in my studio today um, and I am really excited to start the week. I have a bunch of fun things planned. Um, I'm hoping to do some watercoloring and some gouache painting and some sketching and I have a little mini art haul of stuff I got that I'm kind of excited to show you. Um, and let's see what else. Maybe he's doing some pen and ink this week. Uh, I probably end up doing other stuff too, so there would have been words popping up somewhere either at the beginning of the video or now. <laughs> so grab yourself something cozy to drink. I have some nice Irish breakfast tea this morning. And come on in and let's start the week. Okay, so like I said, it is Monday morning. It's beautifully sunny right now. It's supposed to be 53 degrees today, which is like 30 degrees warmer than our average high for right now. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it's supposed to be 52. And then Wednesday, the high is 11 degrees and we're supposed to get 12 inches of snow. So I don't know what, what's going on with the weather, but it's gonna be an interesting week weather-wise and hopefully here in the studio too. So um, the first thing I wanted to start with was some random stuff I got at Walmart yesterday. <laughs> um, I, you know, if you saw last week's video, I'll link it down below. I was talking about how I was remembering the things I really, really used to love about art and that really used to put me in a good frame of mind. Um, and I was talking about like pen and ink and all of that. And I also remembered that I really used to like sketching with like ballpoint pens. Like I used to love it. So we had to go to Walmart to get some groceries, uh, me and the kids, and um, <laughs> one of my sons has an, a house plant obsession. He wanted a new plant. <laughs> um, he got a really pretty orchid. Maybe I can pop some footage of his orchid in here so you can see it. It's gorgeous. Um, but I thought I would, so I went to the pen aisle. And, well, first of all, also though, I got this. So this is a Sterilite tub, but they're airtight. Look, they have a gasket. And I was thinking this might be a good way to store some of my pastels. So like, I like to keep pastels, like I'll break off three-fourths of it and then leave a quarter in the wrapper so I know what I have and what brand it is and what number it is. And since this is airtight, I thought I could put the, you know, the, I guess for the lack of a better word, like I use those little bits to catalog what I have so that I can replace it as needed. Um, and so I thought, this might be a good way to store them without them getting extra moisture in them. And I thought I could throw, I always am saving like these little packs of the moisture absorbent from like vitamins or um, I don't know, lots of stuff. They're in lots of stuff. And then I throw them in with my pastels to help keep them from absor absorbing moisture. So I thought I could put them in here along with a couple of those packs and see if that works so that I could store it in my basement because it is a little bit damper than the rest of the house. So I'm excited about this. This was $9 at Walmart. <laughs> And then, um, I don't, I've tried linking to Walmart before, it doesn't work, so if they have these same things at Amazon, then I'll put them up on Amazon. But I went to the pen aisle, and I went crazy, so, um, and it, I'm thinking I probably might order some more pens, too, before I have my surgery, but, so I started by getting just the regular, like, the Bic crystals and black and red, the extra smooth. I used to like drawing with these a lot, so it's just black and red. Um, they were like 90 cents a piece, something super cheap. Um, and I'm talking like in sketchbooks, obviously. I don't know if any of this stuff is like fast. <laughs> and then, these were super, I probably didn't need these, but I, they look pretty. I got the Bic Pastel Highlighters, because I thought it might be fun to add some color to the pen drawings with these. Um, just in my sketchbook again. I don't remember the prices for any of these. I don't think anything would have been over $8, because I probably wouldn't have bought it. And then I got the Papermate, are these Inkjoy Inkjoy ball points in the range of colors. Uh, maybe four bucks, I don't know. And then I got, okay, these are my favorite writing pens. I've never tried drawing with them, but I love them for writing. They're my absolute favorite writing pens. They're the Pentel Energel pens. Um, and I have, I don't know if they're next to me. But I like these so much that I bought like the metal ones that are refillable and I buy the refills and stuff. But I have never tried the colors. So see all the colors in there? I thought that might be fun to try drawing with. And then two more. Um, I can't remember his name now. If I remember it, I'll pop it up here. I just, a random artist popped up on Instagram on my feed this weekend and he was drawing with these. 
So of course, I, when I saw them, I, I grabbed them. These are the zebra, what are they? The zebra, I think they're the zebra steel series. I don't know, they're zebra, I just said zebra like a hundred times. I don't know what they are. It says gel retractable and I got the fine point and the medium point. So 0.5 millimeters and 0.7 millimeters. Um, and there's two of each. Oh, <laughs> hello. Come on. I forgot to shut the door. Come on. You can come up and say hi. Come on up here. Come on. Oh, the dog's down here walking around, but I think she doesn't want to jump up. Oh, watch my camera though. Come on. You want to come up here? Come on. Come on. There she is. She says, hello. She says, I want to be in the sunny studio. I want to come lay in the sun. She likes to lay in the sun in here. Yes, you're a good girl. All right. All right. All right. Good girl. All right. Get down. All right. So that's just a couple of things I got at Walmart. Um, and then I don't know if you can see, I have these drawers here. Um, I'm going to, this is where I'm, the second drawer down is where I'm currently keeping the ends of my pastels. And I'm going to make that my sketchbook drawer. <laughs> so for while I'm recovering from surgery, um, everything will be right there where I need it. It's going to be all my sketchbook supplies and stuff so that I can just easily get what I want without having to, you know, maneuver too much. So that's one of my plans this week is to... I don't know how much you can see. My desk has all this stuff on it. I'm still going through things, figuring out what I need um, to do this sketch extravaganza. Um, and then, in fact, now would maybe be a good time to pop my sketchbook footage that didn't make it into the video last week because it was like 54 minutes without the sketchbook footage. So maybe I'll pop that in here too now. Um, and we'll talk about all my favorite sketchbooks and I'll show you some of the stuff that's in some of the sketchbooks that you maybe haven't seen before. Um, so like maybe a mini sketchbook tour, but there's not a lot that I show you. Actually, I have no idea how much I show you. I can't remember. But we'll talk about all the best sketchbooks. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go let you do that now, and I'm going to move on with my week. Hi, everybody. It's Friday morning, and I'm not sure how much you can see. I'm moving stuff around on this desk and making more room. Um, you probably can't see it, but the, the drawing board is right here leaning up against the wall so I can take it down when I need it after surgery. I moved my markers over so they're more easily accessible because I'm planning to do um, a lot of drying mediums as well as, like I said, gouache and watercolor. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to talk about today, which is why I'm filming this instead of editing what I already have for the video, is sketchbooks. So I think you can see I've got several piles of sketchbooks here. Um, <clears throat> and I'm thinking it's going to be a lot easier to work small well part of the problem is I think like I can't I won't be able to for however long my arm is in the immobilization thing um I won't be able to like tape sheets of paper down to an artboard um I will probably plan some stuff out and tape some stuff down before surgery um so that it's ready to go in fact I might I'm I am going to be ordering a few things <laughs> with uh with per my husband's suggestion so um so maybe I might need a few more artboards, so that's something else I have to check. In fact, I'm going to get a pen and write down the things I need to check. But other than having some things like pre-taped down and pre-sketched out, I'm thinking probably I'm going to be working in sketchbooks in smaller sizes. Um, and, you know, things I don't need to tape down. So, these are... Not all the sketchbooks that I own, but the ones that I'm thinking I might want to work in. Um, so I just thought we'd take a quick look at what I have here. Um, let's start with the Royal Talon sketchbooks I have. Okay, so I have three of those. Um, you've probably seen this one, uh, this cover I did. Um, there's a reel somewhere. So this is only partially filled, not very far in at all. Um, I'm about that far in. <laughs> so I do think I'll be working in this um, quite a bit. Smaller size, um, be able to, I don't know, I should do, I don't know, I haven't ever done any sketchbook flip throughs on here. Um, sometime, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be working in here. Uh, I thought, so I am going to probably get a couple new sketchbooks, but I do kind of want to use up what I have. So 
This is one I'm going to be working in small size. I feel like this small size might be extra good while I'm recovering. So I'm going back and forth on whether I should get another one, but I don't think I will. And then this one I think was gifted to me. And I think I drew some random like illustration-y sketches on the first page. I did. Um, and that's it. Um, I think I might erase that and start this one new. Uh, all the Royal Talons, they're very, you know, thin paper. They're good for pen and ink. Somewhat good for colored pencil. They don't have a ton of uh, tooth. So they're somewhat good for light sketches with colored pencil. Alcohol markers will bleed through, which is why And this one I was going to every other page. As you can see, um, I must have forgot to put, I, I don't know. But I was going to do oops, every other page and then glue these pages together. Um, so that's, but yeah, I would, I would like to use a marker, a marker sketchbook that's meant for markers, but we'll get to that. Um, this is my big Royal Talons. Um, and I think, again, I've only done like the first page. <laughs> um, these were some time sketches with my Patreons that we did on one of our Zoom calls. Um, and I didn't plan well because now you can see that when you open the front cover. So maybe I need to paste something over this. But I'll definitely be using this one too. I think it's hard. It's it's a little big. I don't know. Maybe I won't be using it. It's it's pretty heavy. Um, but those are the royal tal talons. And then I've got my two moleskins. Moleskins. I started this one a long time ago. Um, twenty twenty. It must have been. Uh, you saw this. I think I showed this already in the the video. Because this is the one that has the the pen and ink sketches in it. Um. So you saw this already in the video. I'm not going to flip through it. This one is more full. This one is actually close to being finished. Um, this is what I have done. This is what isn't done yet. So maybe I could try to finish that while I'm recovering. Um, and then this was my other moleskin. This is the Art Creations or Art something. Art something because the paper is heavier. This is the one that I was experimenting in. And it's, I wrote experimental, experiment, experimentation. Um, oh, I must have been swatching some stuff in here in Neo Color 2s. This was a exercise I did, mark making exercise on Patreon. Um, practicing loose painting with gouache. Um, I screwed that page. I was doing some pen work in here. This is, but I did do that for, I think, my, my paint tober. Um, palettes. I had lots of swatching, so this must be like my swatching one. I might be working in this one. Um, so this is the Copic one. I got this, I think, in a sketch box. And I did... I did one sketch in this. Um, I don't remember being super impressed with the paper in here. And I'm feeling angry at Copic right now because of the whole marker, marker situation. But I do want a marker specific sketchbook. So I'm looking at the one from Ohuhu because I'm obviously happy with Ohuhu. Um, so that might be something I do. Uh, this I was thinking might be good for like taking with me. It's soft cover. My mom gave it to me for Christmas um, or for thumbnails. Uh, I might take this places with me while I'm waiting. Um, and then I have, this is the watercolor one from um, uh, Timu. Um, and I've done just some like little sketches while I was out and about with it. Um, stuff like that. And I do like it for watercolor and mixed media. And it's a nice small size. I wonder if I should order another one of these. I don't know. I've thought about whether or not like I want to have fresh sketchbooks or just work on finishing up ones that I have because I have so many that I've started and then not finished. This is um, not as rough texture as this. This is the, I've talked about this one on here before. I love this sketchbook. Um, the wrapper that was on it had I think red poppies or red flowers on it. I, I can't remember. Oh, I'll, I'll just go Google it quick. Well, I think it was the Handbook Journal Company, but I, yeah, Handbook, but I can't find it in my order history. So, um, the paper in this one holds up really well to gouache and watercolor. Um, uh, it's a good one. 
there's some things in it that aren't my favorite. Um, I don't know, like some stuff that didn't turn out. Yes, that's all right. Um, like this one, I got, didn't like it. Um, so I don't know if I want, I don't know what I want. Um, and then, so now we're getting into, so here I have the Ilio sketchbook. Sorry if the color was bad. This is the Ilio sketchbook. Uh, this isn't specifically made for markers, but it works really well with markers, although the blending isn't great. Um, I like that dry. <laughs> um, I don't know. And it doesn't take a lot of colored pencil. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I like the square size. So now these, we're coming to these two. These two are the two most expensive, uh, the color again. These two are the most expensive uh, sketchbooks that I've ever gotten. And as you can see, they're both still in the wrapper. Um, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm afraid to use these. And I've talked about it before. I've not used either of them. One is a watercolor and one is a mixed media from, this is the Stillman and Burn Zeta, Zeta series mixed media. Um, and this has very, very smooth paper. Um, very thick, uh, good, I would think for, it says it's good for dry and wet media, watercolor, ink, but it's very smooth. Um, I'm for sure gonna be working on this one. And I'm for sure going to be working in this one. This is the Moleskin Art Collection watercolor. Um, again, very heavy paper. This is 135 pound paper, uh, cold press or similar to cold press. Um, I'm going to be working in this and this um, for sure. Um, and then I do have these little Strathmore artist tiles which I haven't used yet, watercolor artist tiles. This is a nice small size that might be fun to work with. Um, and then I also have the little Hannah Mule. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This came in one of the sketch box boxes. Um, I haven't used this at all. This is, a, I'll for sure be working on this. This is a nice medium texture, um, smallish pages. And then I just recently got this one for planning out thumbnails, but I like the paper so much that I, may use it for other stuff too. It's really nice and thick. I think colored pencils would look good on this, which reminds me, where is my, I'm missing a sketchbook. Found it. This is also a Stillman and Burn. This is the Nova series, which is also, as you can see, um, a nice thick craft paper. Um, this is the one I did the oil sketches in. Um, I've got some colored pencil and stuff in here too. Um, but this is another one I should be working in. So I'm going to narrow it down to the ones I most want to work in and then I'm going to make sure that they're easily accessible over here. I might have to move stuff around some more. Um, I'm going to be moving like stuff in my drawers around. You can't see down here, but um, I have drawers so that everything is easily accessible with one hand. Um, so that is my plan. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, everybody, it is Wednesday right before lunch and I need to take the dog for a walk. But I heard from Copic yesterday and it looks like they're going to replace the markers that uh, were dried out because of the cracks. They did tell me that it is an actual known issue and they know that it's happening um, and they stand by the product and it looks like they're going to replace them. So I'm feeling a lot better about that and um, I'm still talking to them back and forth by email. So I will keep you updated if I hear anything else. Um, it is nasty outside. It was yesterday at one, it was 53 degrees and within an hour and a half, the sun went away, a huge bank of fog, something rolled in and it dropped thir to 36 degrees, no, 33 degrees because it was snowing. Um, and then we got like tons of wind and snow last night and uh, the high today I think is 11. The wind chill right now is negative 20. So I'm gonna get all bundled up and take the dog out for a walk. At least the sun is coming out now, the snow stopped. So <laughs> I think it's supposed to be 60 this weekend, so I don't know what's happening. Um, I spent the whole morning uh, working on, you know, pre-doing the stuff for Patreon. So sketchbook level tier, 
um, is scheduled all the way through the end of April. Uh, so the content, even when I'm recovering from surgery, all the content for sketchbook club level will be there all the way until May 1st. Um, so yay. <laughs> now I just have to work on the other tiers and I have also been filming. I did some filming for some pre-filmed YouTube videos. So things are starting to feel like they're coming together a little bit. So I'm I'm not quite where I can relax yet and feel okay about it, but I'm almost there or maybe halfway there. So um, I'm going to walk the dog and I'll be back. Okay, so you guys, it's Thursday um, and I'm going to film this uh, opening here in just a minute. This is like a gigantic box. It's huge. It's been here for a couple weeks and I can't wait to see what's in it. Um, this video will be coming up at some point. Uh, it's a box of mystery supplies. <laughs> Getting it all braced up and ready for putting the trusses on. It's a little precarious, but he's used to doing this at work. Don't fall. <laughs> trusses are up. We're making lots of progress now. Okay, so I'm getting ready for Thursday's live stream. It's gonna start in like, oh, I think less than an hour. Um, but I also wanted to show you what I did this morning. Um, so this was a, my kids gave me one year for Christmas. Um, it was like a colored pencil and drawing set from Kalur. Um, and this stuff was all originally in here and I left that. This is their drawing pencils, some pastel pencils, blending stump, um, the sander, uh, eraser, pencil extender, and there's a little tiny pencil sharpener down here. And then the rest of this stuff is mine. So here we have um, some more drawing pencils. My um, Faber-Castell, I think this is the water-soluble graphite pencils. It says pit graphite matte, but I'm pretty sure it's the water-soluble. Um, I have my Copic Gas and Fud brush pen, some more blending stumps, uh, a pencil eraser, a couple Winsor & Newton fine liners that fit in here. The Pigma microns don't fit in here, so I put those in there. Um, I've got some charcoal pencils, some mechanical pencils, some of my favorite colors of um, the color, color race, Prismacolor Color Race pencils for sketching, two of my favorite um, fountain pens for drawing, some white gel pens, and the Tombow Zebra pens in here. I felt like this would be, I feel like it's one-handed would be, I might not be able to do the zipper, but I can get stuff in and out one-handed, so I thought this might be a good setup for sketching and drawing. Okay, I gotta go get ready for the live stream. Okay, I wanted to open this and take a look at this. The paper, I'm going to compare this to the arches and also the bahong because I use that too. This is very, very smooth, very nice. I think I might need a bigger, I'll have to do some tests and see. Okay, so it's got a smoother texture than the bahong and is more of a white. Eh, they're pretty white. This might be slightly off-white. All right, and now let's compare it to my arches, if I can reach it. Here's the arches hot press. Oh, they're pretty similar. I feel like the arches might be the smoothest of all three. Very, very smooth. Okay, so we're going to need to run some tests on these three um, and see what we think. Okay, everybody, so it is Tuesday now. I just turned in a big sponsored video. I'm feeling really good about that. <laughs> it's a big weight off my shoulders. I have one other really big one that I'm working on, and once I f finish that one and send it in, I'll feel much better. <laughs> um, but I would like to take some time now to just do some arty stuff for myself. So I have this, I don't know what's in here, I mean, it's just paper. I have this uh, 
uh, Art Talon sketchbook. It's the big size. Um, and I grabbed it and used it for a sketching demonstration over on Patreon one day. Um, but I didn't really think about how, like, then this is the first page. So I think what I want to do today is maybe glue this other side down and make this into the first page and just spice it up a little bit. Maybe collage some paper over this and uh, put in like my contact info and all of that. So I thought, why don't I move you guys from here to here and we can have a little fun. Okay, you guys, so this spread was from um, a timed sketching thing we were doing over on Patreon where we did 10 minutes per animal. Um, I need to put something here and maybe collage in something here for contact details. And we'll figure things out from there. So I'm going to start by drawing something in here. Um, I've got my Prismacolors and my Ohuhus, which is, um, these are the color ace, which I like to use for sketching. I think I was using regular Prismacolor for this. I don't remember now. It's been a while. So I'm going to get set up and then I'll get going. Okay, so the rule here was no erasing. So that's what I'm going to continue to try to do, I guess. Um, first, I better make sure I know how big the bird's going to be. So I thought I would leave the actual sketching portion in here. Um, usually people don't, the sketching doesn't do so well, <laughs> but I thought I would leave it. Um, that's one of the things that I've been struggling with too. Like, you know, a lot of my sketchbooks are for actively figuring things out and practicing and like figuring out composition and just like, how does the, the lines of this go? Um, and uh, people don't really, you know, want to see that stuff. Like every time I've tried to post any of that, um, it never does well. Um, that's mostly on Instagram. I haven't really tried to do too much of it here on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Um, everybody always wants to see like the finished product all the time, which is also sort of why, like, you know, everybody always wants to see, you know, more art, more art, more art. But a lot of what I do is preparation and practice and trying things out. And, you know, my real, a lot of my real working sketchbooks, you know, they're not pretty. They're not finished products. They are real working sketchbooks. And, you know, that actually is kind of something I want to talk about, um, I've been, you know, people show like their sketchbook tours and they're super popular. And you guys, those aren't sketchbooks. <laughs> those are finished pieces of work in a small size in a book. <laughs> um, you know, that's not like a working sketchbook. That's not what a working sketchbook looks like. Like a working sketchbook doesn't look like that. Um, it is very rare that I actively see a real sketchbook. Um, so what I was doing here, these four things, uh, I took a little bit longer on the bird, but um, they were supposed to be 10 min minute each exercises for each animal. Uh, I think I ended up doing 15 minutes for each animal except the cat, which was 10. Um, and you just stop wherever you're at when, you, when the timer goes off, um, which is a really good exercise to help you speed up and draw things quicker and um you know the more you push yourself the more accurate and the faster you get and all of that but you know it didn't turn out super pretty this isn't like a super pretty page so I'm gonna be doing some stuff here to bring it more into like a cohesive spread and bring it all together and make it look prettier and like you can see up in that right hand corner where I was testing marker colors and you know again not pretty but a working page where I was actively trying to learn something and oh I missed a bunch of um footage right there when I decided to I decided to start adding in squares of color to just sort of bring everything together um and then I was outlining in color as well um both the animal and the square um and I'm not I I think I had thought I had it recording and I didn't so like you can see with the cat 
where I only had <clears throat> 10 minutes. The face is kind of wonky, and it's definitely not done. Like, the back of the cat is nowhere near done. Uh, but I stopped when the timer went off, you know, because that was the exercise. Um, and I just, I guess I have, I mean, I'd show people my sketchbooks, but they're not finished works of art. They're real, like, working sketchbooks where, like, I might even write notes to myself or it's just like a couple ugly pen sketches next to each other to figure out how I'm planning to do something on a finished piece or, you know, whatever. Um, and I just like, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Like when you see sketchbook tours on like YouTube and Instagram, is that what your sketchbooks look like? Are you doing like a finished piece on every page or are your sketchbooks more utilitarian like mine where you're actually working through something and working on you know learning something or figuring out your process or you know practicing for a bigger piece what is a sketchbook for you how do you use it um I guess my thinking has always been if I'm going to do a finished piece, like I want to do it on, you know, paper or canvas, you know, uh, like a nice sheet of paper uh, and like be able to you know, hang it or, you know, frame it or, um, you know, make a print out of it. You know what I mean? Or, or even like scan it in and make a sticker. Um, like you can't do that with any of these things here. Although I do end up liking how this page turn out, turned out, um, in a second, I'm going to get out all my, like, art journaling supplies and do a little, like, some stickers and, um, I don't know, some collaging, stick things down. I'm organizing my markers back into my marker holder here. It's really important for me to always make sure I put them back exactly in the right spot because the caps don't um, totally match the color. So I like to have my swatch chart out and um, make sure that I know which markers are where. And in the live stream, actually, yesterday I was talking about, like, swatch charts. I don't generally use them uh, unless it's my markers where I, you know, want to see a specific color um, and be able to find it easily. Somebody was asking, like, if all my swatch charts for all my supplies are in one book, is it easy for me to find the swatch chart when I'm working with that supply? And the answer is I don't really use swatch charts. Um, when I'm actually working, except for markers. Mostly I just squeeze some paint out and mix my own colors and figure out where I'm going from there, if that makes sense. So here I have just a gold um, paint pen out and I'm just making it pretty <laughs> and trying to draw it, draw it together into a more cohesive page so it looks more like, you know, all those sketchbook tours you do see on YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> Um, and here I'm making a little spot for my contact info um, just to make it pretty. But it's like a little I put like a little like a lift the flap book for a kid. <laughs> so the contact info is hidden under there. <laughs> that way, if I ever do want to show the sketchbook like a sketchbook tour, I don't have to remember to cover up my contact info because most likely I won't remember because I never do. Oh, well, that is the finished first page in this sketchbook. Um, it didn't really stick down, so I ended up just taping a piece of copy paper here. So the front doesn't look good, but oh well. Um, the, if you've never tried the timed sketching, you should definitely try it. Um, and if you never tried not erasing, you should definitely try that as well. It's uh, a great exercise to help you improve your drawing very quickly. So I hope you enjoyed the video this week. I hope you had a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button yet, I'd appreciate it if you would. That helps support my channel in a way that's totally free to you. Um, and then you can always check out my Patreon with Sketchbook Club and the video tier and the sticker and print tier um, if you'd like to do a little bit more or if you'd like to learn a little bit more. Uh, so until next time, happy creating! Mm -hmm.